Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings for Tuesday, August 21st. Uh, we have a full 15 game slate tonight, uh, so we got a lot to talk about. I do not want to waste time. Just make sure you guys drop a like on the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, um, if this is your first time checking a video out on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below, so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. We'll start off at pitcher today. Uh, we'll look at the top four stud options, the four guys that are over 10K. We got Corbin, Blake Snell, Jose Barrios, and Masahiro Tanaka uh, all available on this slate. Just focusing on these four guys, and if I want to play any of these four guys, starting off with Patrick Corbin against the Angels. I uh, do like this matchup for Corbin. This Angels lineup is really, really bad. Uh, if we look at their projected lineup for Tuesday, without Mike Trout, uh, this is just a bad lineup. You do have some good hitters at the top. Uh, Cole Calhoun's definitely been a very good hitter this year. He's improved a lot, uh, but he is facing a lefty. Justin Upton's de definitely a dangerous bat, but guys like David Fletcher, Pujols, Simmons, Rene Rivera, Taylor Ward, Eric Young, like these are just not good hitters. I uh, like Corbin here. He is 11900 which is pretty expensive. I don't know if we're going to get like a 30, 40 point game from Corbin to where we have to play him at this price tag. Uh, so I think we can definitely get off of him if you're playing a lot of lineups, like if you're max entering something. Uh, I do like Corbin today if you're max entering, but if I'm playing one lineup, I don't think Corbin's necessary. I would absolutely love Blake Snell today against the Royals, but we don't know how many pitches Blake Snell's going to throw. If we just look at his game log, his last few starts, he's only thrown 76 pitches against the Yankees, only went five innings. Uh, against the Blue Jays, he only went uh, five innings, I believe, as well. Only threw 47 pitches in that outing. Uh, so off the DL, Snell just really hasn't thrown any pitches. I still think we're going to see a limit on him. It's probably going to be around 80 to 85 pitches. And as long as he's priced at 11500 and on a pinch count, I think we can avoid Blake Snell today. If he's not going to be on a limit, if we do get that news that Blake Snell's going to be able to go 100-plus pitches, uh, he's probably my favorite pitcher on this slate against the Royals. But like I said, we don't have that news right now. We don't really know how many innings he's going to go. Uh, so for that reason, I'm not going to be too heavy on Blake Snell Unless, like I said, we do get confirmation they no longer are going to be on a pitch limit. Um, Jose Barrios against the White Sox, I do like here as well. But definitely, he's not my favorite option if talking about these top four guys. Uh, Barrios has been struggling lately, uh, but this is a good matchup for him to get back on track. He has done really well this year against the White Sox. Through three games against them, he's averaged 29 DraftKings points. He's been able to strike them out uh, through three games against the White Sox. He do ha does have 23 Ks. I uh, do like Brios here. At 10-9, though, I think I'd rather just play Masahiro Tanaka, who gets a matchup against the Marlins. Uh, and this is just a matchup I really like. I know the Marlins, this team, uh, people say just not a lot of strikeouts in this lineup. Uh, but if you just look at this lineup, it's a bad lineup. Like, they're not good hitters. Uh, look from top to bottom. Ortega, uh, Real Muto's a good hitter. But Brian Anderson, Dietrich, Castro, Austin Dean, JT Riddle, uh, Sierra, like these are just not good hitters. You can get some Ks here, uh, especially with Sierra with the pitcher. Um, Austin Dean, a guy you could strike out. Derek Dietrich's been striking out. Brian Anderson will strike out a little bit. Uh, I think Tanaka has a lot of upside here. He's pitching in the National League, so he'll be able to face the pitcher. It's a good pitcher's park in Miami. Uh, the Marlins have one of the lowest implied run totals on the slate at 3.2 runs. Tanaka, very heavy favorite at minus 225. Really like him here. I think he has a ton of upside. And at 10-2, I know he's been somewhat risky lately, uh, but I think I can pay this price tag for Tanaka when he has 30, 35-point upside in this matchup. Definitely one of my favorite pitchers on this slate. Uh, then looking at some of the other options we could consider, you got Hinjin Ryu against the Cardinals. I don't think I really want to go there at 9,200. Kyle Hendricks, you never know what you're going to get from the guy. It's a good matchup against the Tigers, but don't really know what we're going to get from Hendricks, so we kind of, I think at least we can avoid him. Uh, looking to like this 7K range, there really aren't a lot of guys that I like here in this mid-tier. I think the one guy that's definitely playable is Kevin Gosman. Um, I liked him on Monday. He didn't get to start. He got scratched. Uh, he is starting today, though, on Tuesday. Against the Pirates, it's not the best strikeout matchup. It's not the best matchup overall. Uh, but we could definitely see Gosman go out and get five, six innings with six, seven Ks, uh, 20 to 25 draftings points. I could see Gosman easily getting there against the Pirates. So it's 7,100. I think he's definitely playable today. Uh, but the guy that really sticks out to me is Sam Gaviglio. I know Gaviglio is not the best pitcher. You really don't know what you're going to get from this guy, but he's cheap. He's 6,800, and he's facing the Orioles, uh, which is definitely something I like to see. Definitely want to take pitchers against the Orioles. They're just not a good hitting team. They strike out a lot. 
Uh, Gaviglio has faced this team once this year. Went pretty uh, well for him. Seven and two-thirds innings. Did allow four hits or four runs, but I believe some of those runs came like towards the end of the game. Uh, I believe he might have gave up, gave up a home run in like the seventh inning. I know he was pitching really well against the Orioles when he faced them, uh, and then it kind of all went downhill in one inning. Uh, he got eight strikeouts when he faced the Orioles earlier this year. I believe this was back when Machado was on the on the team as well. Uh, this lineup right now, really, really bad. So many strikeouts. Good spot for Gaviglio. Uh, Orioles somewhat low implied run total today at 4.1 runs. I think Gaviglio, a really good option here, and I have a ton of interest in him, especially with this price tag. He fits very nicely with Tanaka, still leaves you over 4K remaining per player for your bats. Uh, so Gaviglio is probably my favorite cheap option today. Like sub 7K, really the only other guy I could see playing would probably be Junior Garrett, 6,700 against the Reds. Uh, just because this Reds lineup is not really good without Joey Votto, you can find some strikeouts in this Reds lineup. They got a low 3.8 implied run total for today. Uh, so Garrett and Gaviglio are probably my favorite value plays, not really considering anyone else under 7K, or at least not going to be on anybody heavily that's under 7K. So now let's go ahead and talk about the bats. Uh, we'll start off at second base. There is a course field game today. There's a game in cores. Two lefties on the mound in course field. Uh, so we're definitely going to want to target some of the righties from both the Padres and the Rockies. Uh, we'll start off at second base with Jose Perella. Should be leading off for the Padres today. And he's only 4K leading off in Coors Field uh, with the platoon split versus Tyler Anderson. Um, now Tyler Anderson, actually a pretty good pitcher. A pitcher that I don't think is really going to get blown up here. Uh, but Anderson's probably going to give up a few runs. So you can find some value in this Padres lineup. I doubt I'd be full stacking the Padres today. Uh, but the righties like... Perella, Myers, Renfro, Villanueva. I think those guys are definitely playable. I uh, don't love any of their price tags, especially Renfro. He's 5,400, which is just insane. Uh, but Villanueva has shown a lot of power versus lefties this year. At 4,600, I could see going there. Uh, Will Myers, expensive, 5,200. But Jose Perella, a guy that really sticks out to me, leading off at 4K. Uh, is not the best hitter, but he does have some speed. Can show power at times, I guess. And in course field, uh, definitely the power will be there. Really in course field, if you can just put the ball in play, you can uh, put turn doubles into or turn singles into doubles, turn doubles into triples with how that out, uh, with how that outfield is. So I like Perella here. I think he's a good value play if you're trying to go cheap at second base. Uh, then at third base from the other side of that game, Nolan Arenado, uh, probably one of the biggest locks when it comes to uh, just MLB DFS. Anytime you get this guy at home versus a lefty, uh, Nolan Arenado has to be on your radar. And today he's facing a pretty bad lefty and Robbie Erlin. Uh, Erlin's definitely going to struggle here. He's having to go to Coors Field, where the Rockies have a 6.1 implied run total for today. These righties from the Rockies, LeMahieu, Arenado, Story, Desmond, uh, Ionetta, these guys have to be some of the top plays on the slate if you can fit them in. Uh, and going with a guy like Gaviglio, a pitcher as your cheap SP2, allows you to fit in these studs, so I absolutely love Arenado today at 5,700. Very good chance, even at this price, he's able to pay it off with just how good he hits lefties at home. Uh, double dong, triple dong upside is there for Nolan Arenado. Uh, definitely one of my favorite plays. Uh, just when it comes to hitters on this slate, he's got to be one of my favorite plays overall. Uh, then going to the outfield, I do like sort of a play here that I think is somewhat contrarian that's going to be somewhat low-owned. Uh, I think a team you could look to that's going to be low-owned is the Giants uh, versus Steven Matz. And Andrew McCutcheon is a guy that I think nobody's really going to look to today. Uh, but I like, this, I like this matchup for him versus Steven Matz. Uh, Mads has just been absolutely terrible this year. Uh, he just hasn't really had it. He's struggled all year. He struggled with righties. Uh, so we want some of these righties from the uh, from the Giants. Andrew McCutcheon, a guy that really sticks out to me, leading off at 4,200. You can find value with that 4-5 combo of Evan Longoria and Austin Slater. Uh, those aren't guys I'm going to be very heavy on, but if you do need value, I think you can consider them. Uh, but the guy I really like is Andrew McCutcheon. 4,200 leading off versus a, a pitcher that's Really struggle with righties versus a pitcher that struggles with stolen bases as well. Andrew McCutcheon isn't the fastest guy in the world, but if he gets on base, he can steal bases. Does have st uh, 10 stolen bases this year. And Mats, we all know, really struggles with holding on runners. Always allows a ton of stolen bases. Just really like this spot for McCutcheon. He's been a guy just throughout his career that's always hit lefties well. And today he's facing a really, really bad lefty. So I have a ton of interest in McCutcheon. Uh, 4,200, I feel like nobody's really going to be on him today. Definitely another guy that I like in the outfield. Uh, but yeah, these are my five plays for today, guys. Masahiro Tanaka, Sam Gaviglio, Jose Perella, Nolan Arenado, and Andrew McCutcheon. 
Uh, now we'll quickly go over some stacks that I like today. Uh, we'll talk about some of my favorite stacks, the ones that I'm going to be heavy on in tournaments. Uh, we'll start off with the course field game. That's definitely a place you're going to look to. The Rockies, if I can fit these guys in, they're going to be my top stack today. Uh, if I decide to fade some of the top pitchers in tournaments, which I'm sure I'll be doing, I will definitely have a Rocky stack with LeMahieu, Arenado, Story, Desmond. Uh, ha I'll have that stack in tournaments in some lineups where I don't play some of the top pitchers. Uh, but maybe if you want to go to some low-owned ta uh, some low owned stacks, some stacks that people might not be considering, you do have the Brewers with a 5.3 implied run total versus Sal Romano. In Miller Park, I think you could go there if you're looking for a low-owned stack. Uh, you got these Cubs bats who are very reasonably priced today versus Jordan Zimmerman. Uh, Rizzo 4700, Baez 47, or Rizzo's 4300, which is really good value. Baez 4700, Bodie 3400. Uh, you could definitely play a guy like Tanaka or Gaviglio. You could do that combo and stack the Cubs because these guys are very reasonably priced. They do have a high implied run total today, 5.2 runs versus Jordan Zimmerman. I do like the Cubs as sort of a secondary stack. Uh, looking at some of the other teams, though, on this slate that we could possibly go to, not really a lot I love. Uh, the Giants I do like here versus Steven Matz, but I'm not full stacking the Giants just because their lineup isn't very good. But like uh, McCutcheon, Posey, Longoria, Slater, I think those guys are definitely playable today. Uh, but yeah, that's really it for stacks, the stacks that I like. Uh, I think that is it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video, and hopefully it did help you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, just make sure you give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, if you have not subscribed yet, Make sure you do subscribe down below so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And if you have any questions, uh, you can always hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT or feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And good luck tonight on this big 15 game slate. Peace.